Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am just coming to you today to bring a little bit of encouragement. I know right now um, there's a lot of jokes going around about the coronavirus, and it doesn't help everybody when there's a joke. But in reality, um, what I've been saying to Joel is have no corona fear. And while it sounds funny to say it like that, a lot of us are really scared. A lot of us are really fearful and, and worried. A lot of us don't know what tomorrow holds. Our normal has been thrown out the window and we've adapted to a new normal. And in addition to this, we have the same typical life issues. Some of us may be having difficulty at work. We may be having relationship problems. We may be having problems with our vehicles, our finances, our kids. There's a lot of areas where we may be having problems that add on to this new normal. So I wanted to share a scripture that has always encouraged me, and I'm hopeful that it will encourage you. It's Isaiah 41.10, and here's what it says. Don't worry. I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand that brings victory. If that's not encouraging, I don't know what is. Don't worry, I am with you. The God of the universe is with us and tells us not to worry. I know it's so much easier said than done. And that's why we have to practice being in a, in a working relationship with him where every day we work at that relationship. We're talking and praying and communicating with God. We're spending time in worship and in his word and learning about him and who he is and what those promises of his word are. And don't be afraid, I am your God. Simply because we love and serve the God of all gods, he tells us not to be afraid. He says, I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand that brings victory. Man, that's encouraging. That brings me peace knowing that God knows that if I'm, if I'm worried, if I'm afraid, I can come to him and I can trust his word. Because we have to remember that even when we don't know what tomorrow brings, we've never known what tomorrow brings. But even in that, we still have a God who's able to walk closely with us. It's as if he holds our hand and he guides us, he leads us, and he gives us the peace and the strength that we need to depend on him and to trust in him. And can I just remind you guys, God is a God of promises. He does not break his promise. And he will never forsake us. So today, instead of worrying and being really afraid about what tomorrow holds, instead of being fearful of whatever life obstacles we have that we are looking at right now, whether it's health issues or corona fear, I encourage you to trust in him, to trust in who he is and in his promise that he is with us. So I'm just going to take a minute and pray over everybody and we will be on our way. Jesus, I thank you for our church family. I thank you for each and every person. And God, as we face life, as we face obstacles, and as we face uh, this pandemic that we are walking through, God, I pray that you would be with us, that you would bring us peace, that you would bring us your joy, that you would be with us and we would feel your presence upon us, that we would find extra time to spend in your word, to spend praying, and to spend getting closer to you and knowing you better. And Lord, I just pray that, that we would be able to find trust in who you are and in who you say you are. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We thank you for this day and for all that you've done to sustain us and to provide for us. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to when we can meet again. But until then, I'm sure you'll see my face a few more times. Talk to you later.